Shalom Aleichem, sisters and brothers, how are you doing? Wanted to share some thoughts with you. A friend spoke with me about this, uh, about this very, very frightening uh, thing that is going on um, today in the world. And I was thinking to myself, he's right. We need to talk about it. We need to help people to wake up from this... Uh, crazy nightmare from this uh, horrible danger that might uh, attack um, the world and uh, might attack the world in a day of greatness, in a great time of redemption and salvation. And, um, and because that it's so, so, um, like we're talking about a day that can be so beautiful and so great and, 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 and amazing. And in that day, that same greatness can be the, the failure and the obstacle for millions of people. And uh, therefore, it uh, woke me up um, with a great will to to help those ones that can fail in that uh, and fall in that trap to help them to to go out of that uh, potential god forbid mistake and um, awful mistake so in christianity there are two concepts one is uh, one can be great and one is um, is awful and um, one of them is their faith in a Messiah, in a Redeemer. Now, I'm not talking about uh, Jesus because me, myself, I do not believe in Jesus as the Messiah. So don't um, fool yourself to think um, that I'm coming to teach something um, positive about the faith of Christianity because that's not my way that's not my belief I'm Jewish and I'm an Orthodox Jew and I'm observant and I'm following the only uh, testament that is the Bible and 24 books of the Bible and the oral Torah by the sages and I do not believe in the New Testament and on the promises and so-called uh, prophecies um, that are relate to Christianity so I am not in that place at all but the Rambam Rabbi Moshe Ben Maimon explained to us something amazing about um, the religions um, about Christianity and about Islam that there is something um, very important very um, meaningful um, in those faiths and it is that they do believe in a Redeemer that they do believe in a Messiah so Christians believe that Jesus will come but we uh, Jewish people as well waiting for a Redeemer for the Savior of the world so the Rambam explains the fact that the two different religions are waiting for a redeemer is a great thing and why because by that the people who follow those religions um, established in their hearts the hope and the expectation for the savior for the messiah to come and the rambam said that when the messiah will come they will already going to have a vessel an ability to accept, to embrace the true Redeemer as the wonderful Redeemer of the world, even though that by our faith um, it's a different person. It won't be Jesus. It won't be Muhammad. That's our faith. Um, still, the fact that the Messiah will come with glory and, and with grace and will uh, reveal the word of God and, and all the great wonders and miracles and resurrection of the dead that will take place um, will be accepted in the hearts of those believers who even though believes in different faiths following a different uh, path they will have the ability 
um, acceptance, I think you can say, the ability to accept the true Messiah that will come. So the Rambam said that it's a praiseworthy, that it's a quality in the two uh, different religions. Now, what's the problem with that? So like I said, there are two concepts in Christianity that one of them is good and it's that, that they do believe in a Messiah. The other thing is the Antichrist. They have a faith that before the redemption, by their faith, a false Messiah will come. And that false Messiah will be the Antichrist. He will be the opposite of the true Redeemer by their faith that will come to to um, to 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 reject that will come to contradict by their faith the so-called hoped and expected redemption by their faith by Christians faith for Jesus to come that's what they believe now what's the problem with that why am I so worried because as a person that does not believe in that kind of redemption that is not waiting for Jesus to come because for me if you ask my opinion so we are waiting for someone else and not for Jesus we're waiting for the child um, the, cho the chosen child that will be revealed to us a grand great grandchild of King David that will reveal the truth to the world and will renew the faith and will establish uh, the covenant in a perfect way between the nation of Israel means all the 12 tribes the 10 lost tribes forgotten tribes and the tribes of Yehuda and Binyamin that are already here in the Holy Land and in the wide world and he will wake up all the souls the true Messiah will wake up all the souls to find and to realize their true importance and their true being and we will wake up from the four wings of the universe to join together and to be lighthouses to all nations to the whole wide world so based on that faith on my faith on the faith of the Jewish people of the Israeli people the redemption that will take place will be a redemption um, that will bring the true Messiah now that true Messiah will not be Jesus so when the Christians that like I said they have a great potential of coming closer to Hashem they have a great potential because of their faith in a Messiah by the words of the Rambam that explained to us that like we said before like I said before that because that they have that simple faith in a Messiah they will have the vessels and the ability to accept and to and to believe and follow the true Messiah even though that it would not be the one that they were expecting for now if they have now that faith in Antichrist in the anti Messiah and some Messiah will come and even though he will be the true one for them it will not be Jesus they will claim those people will claim that that is antichrist and then they will reject the true messiah for their false faith and that is something that i'm very worried about because people like you and now i'm talking to the christian people that you have simple faith you grew up and you've been educated and taught to a simple faith that you believe that is true now the fact that I do not believe like you is another thing but there are many many Christian people that their faith is is simple that's their faith that's how they've been taught they learned in in churches by their teachers in Sunday schools by their parents just to believe that there is a Messiah and you heard wonderful stories about him that you believe those stories and I'm not coming here to argue or to contradict I'm just here to wake up that a warning sign for you not to follow people's opinion look for the truth when you will see the redemption coming and you need to educate your children and your loved ones 
in that concept that the true Messiah will come, the Mashiach, Mashiach Tzidkenu, the, the great grandchild of King David will come and will redeem the world, you should check with eyes of truth, with an honest heart, with a pure heart, with an open mind to check the truth, not to check what someone else is saying, what society is saying, what people around you are saying, to check in reality what's going on in the world. Check the truth, what's going on in the world. Check with your heart, check with your mind, check with your thoughts, check with the tools that you have been blessed with by the Creator to check. Words of truth can be recognized. Don't follow the method of Christ or Antichrist. Don't follow the prophecies. Don't follow the opinions. Don't follow a priest or a preacher or a, a mentor or a, I don't know what, a pastor. Follow the truth. Follow the tools of your heart, the voice of your soul that is waking you up to find the Creator, the Father in Heaven, the One and Only, that there is no one except for Him. There is no one except for Him. So reattach and reconnect yourselves to the true faith that has been given to us by the Creator, to believe in His goodness, in His unity, in His greatness, and use the tools of your soul, the spiritual tools that have been given to you, to sift and find the truth, even though that there are great background noises, many background noises that can interrupt our search, focus on the truth and you shall find it and be redeemed. Amen.